ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. The search continues for those nang gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kaya ba nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season? Ang mga may kaya ng workout na yan, aabot hanggang final week of competition at isa sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Ali is currently a third-year student studying theater arts in UP Diliman. He is a big fan of horror movies even though he was deathly afraid of them as a child. His dream role is to star in a horror movie as if he's not already living in one. Justin is a student of Ateneo de Manila University. He studies computer science and loves listening to music, running, and drawing. Up next, we have Jelmer. Jelmer is a student of Bulacan State University. He studies journalism. His hobbies are listening to music, especially to Taylor Swift. May mm, emphasis na Another Swiftie like yes. you. Yes. And finally, <laughs> we have Ice. Si Ice naman ay journalism student din mula sa Bulacan State University. She loves the color yellow and Pikachu, amongst all things. She is a multi- multi-fandom K-pop fan. To marami to. She's an XOL. Revelove, Once, Miss, Neverland, Army, Blink, Fear Not, Keplian, Enser, Alpha, and Mitzi. Ang dami niyang ano, fandom na kinabibilangan. Isa lang ang alam ko doon sa dinami-dami. But anyway, <laughs> these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. We also have Assistant Professor Bernard Caslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences, UP Manila. And of course, our nagbabalik na Assistant Professor Marla Andriga from the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points, but make sure you wait until you are acknowledged. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin. Question number one. What word refers to a medical doctor who specializes in children and their diseases? Uh, Ali. Pediatrician. Pediatrician is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What do you call the 40 day period starting from Ash Wednesday that commemorates the 40 days Jesus Christ spent fasting in the desert? Wala bang Catholic dito? The correct answer is Lent. Question number three, in sports, in what swimming event do the competitors face upward and is the second stroke to be swum in competitions after the front crawl? Justin. Um, backstroke. Backstroke is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four, what is the Tagalog name of the game? where contestants climb up a greased pole to get a prize at the top of the pole. Uh, Ali. Palo Cebo. Palo Cebo is the correct answer. Keche. Question number five. Tanzania was recently plagued by torrential rains that caused floods and landslides in the northern part of the country. In what continent can you find Tanzania? Uh, Justin. Africa. Africa is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What country is home to the singing groups 17, Red Velvet, Blackpink, and BTS? Akala ko mauna si Ice. Justin. Korea. Korea is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. In the digestive system, what connects the stomach with the large intestine? Eyes. Small intestine. Small intestine is the correct answer. K-check. Question number eight. 
which popular photo and video sharing social networking service of meta platforms is also known as Ali. Instagram. It's also known as IG. Instagram is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. In elementary math, your favorite subject, what is the least common multiple of six and eight? Justin. 24. 24 is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 10. What black and white bear-like mammal native to China feeds almost entirely on bamboo? Ali? Panda. Panda is the correct answer. Question number 11. Question number 11. How many hours are there in half a day? Justin. 12. 12 is the correct answer. K check. Last question. Question number 12. In boxing, what do the letters TKO stand for? Chalmer. Not out. Can you repeat your answer? Knockout. Out. Knockout is wrong. Ali. Technical knockout. Technical knockout is the correct answer. And that's it for our first round. Salamat, attorney, for that round. Points recap muna tayo. Tai, si Ali, at si Justin with 50 points each. Followed by Ice with 10 points. And si Jelmer, kaya pang humabol sa susunod na round. So ngayon, chikahin muna natin, attorney. Ang ating mga contestant. So si Ali. Okay, si Ali, unahin natin. <laughs> Bakit mo naman nasabing you are living in a horror movie? Oo, parang sobra naman yan. <laughs> ano po? Eh, may ko lang. De, joke lang. Ay. Uh, ano po? Uh, kasi parang ang dami nangyayari sa life na uh, parang in comparison sa mga napapanood ko horror movies. Like, I'm living through way worse. Parang gano'n. Hindi naman po siya masyadong sad, so huwag po kayo malungkot. Oh. Pero yan. yan. Pero horror movie talaga. Pero sabi niya nga, M niya lang daw. M. 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 <laughs> So, Justin, saan ka usually tumatakbo? Nasubukan mo na bang mag-jog dito sa UP Diliman Campus? You welcome everyone. Really? <laughs> what does running do for you? And why do you run anyway? Um, Not run away from the police naman. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me po, uh, what running does to me is naka-improve po siya ng mental health. You know, nakalabas po. Pati it's a nice parang change of pace po. Kasi yung course ko po, computer science, so oh. madalas nakatingin kami sa screen. I can screen. imagine. Pero so, saan ka usually tumatakbo? Um, madalas po sa uh, campus sa po sa... Sa <laughs> Sa campus po sa Ateneo o sa ikot ng Maginhawa. Ah, Maginhawa. Ayaw niya pumasok ng UP Dilim. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming salamat, contestants. So now, get ready because we are going to round two. Up next, dito lang yan sa pagbabalik ng Key Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. After the first round, we have Ali of UP Diliman tied with Justin of Ateneo, both with 50 points each. In second place is Ice with 10 points and Jelmer with some catching up to do. Okay, so ngayon, attorney, kilalanin pa natin yung iba nating mga contestants. Ngayon naman si Jelmer, na isang kapwa Swifty. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? Ay isa sa mga contestants na nagsasabing mahilig silang tumugtog ng instruments pero hindi naman sinasabi kung anong instruments. Pwede mo bang i-reveal kung ang, anong instrument yung kinahiligan mong tugtogin? Ang, sa akin po yung tinutugtog ko po is acoustic guitar po. Tapos basis din po sa simbahan sa amin. Church girl. Tapos ano rin po. Um, gusto ko rin pong matutuhan mag-piano or mag-organ po sa amin kasi wala pa po kasi sa kaming ganun. Pero nandun po yung nais kong sunod na gawin para sa simbahan namin, para mag-improve, you know. So bilang isang Swiftie, ano yung mahilig mong gitara? Ano, babalik tayo dun sa debut. <laughs> ano, it's giving me our song and picture to burn. Ay. Ay, syempre alam mo yung Hindi mga kanta niya. Hindi ko alam actually yung first album niya. Ay. Ay. It's not giving. Hindi ka daw tunay na Swift. <laughs> it's not giving. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe ang mga Swift pag nagtipon-tipon. Ice. 
Paki-explain niya sa akin kung ano yung mga pangalan na binanggit namin kanina. <laughs> ko, hindi ko nga alam yan. XOL, Revel Love, Once, My... Miss Miss Yun po yung fandom names po ng mga groups po ng K-pop na sinastan ko po. Pero kung papipiliin ka na isa lang, ang dami eh. XOL na po. XOL? Yes, XO po. Yung so, group po, XOL po ako. Then yung group po is XO po. We learn something new every day. Yes. Pag tayo tinanong niyan sa K-Check, di natin masasagot na. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's so nice to learn all these things about our contestants. But now it's time for round two. So, dear contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. At laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer. In this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. Best known for leading the resistance to South Africa's policy of apartheid in the 20th century, during which he was imprisoned who is South Africa's first democratically elected president. The correct answer is Nelson Mandela. Question number two. What is the name of the pseudoscience that studies the movements and positions of the sun, moon, planets, and stars in the belief that they affect the character and lives of people? Ice. Astrology. Astrology is correct. K-check. Question number three. What number comprises the title of the TV series that starred Kiefer Sutherland as U.S. counter-terrorist federal agent Jack Bauer? Justin. Uh, 24. 24 is correct. K-check. Question number four. Essential for digestion. What is a co complex protein that begins chemical reactions in living cells and includes amylase and pepsin? Justin. Amino acids. Amino acids is mali. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is enzyme. Question number five. What do you call a word or sequence of words that reads the same backward as forward, like race car? The correct answer is palindrome. Question number six. Which American writer created the characters Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? The correct answer is Mark Twain. Question number seven. Which two-word Latin phrase, literally meaning way of operating, refers to a method of operation or pattern of criminal behavior? Justin. Modus operandi. Modus operandi is correct. K-check. Question number eight. Which large musical instrument? Roughly triangular in shape, consists of a frame supporting a graduated series of parallel strings that is played by plucking with the fingers. Justin. Harp. Harp is correct. K-check. Question number nine. Tagaytay City is a second-class component city in what province? Jelmer. Rizal. Rizal is Malay. Anyone can steal. Hindi umabot. Sorry, Ali. The correct answer is Cavite. Okay. Question number 10. From a Russian dialect word meaning marshy upland, what term refers to a rolling mossy land ecosystem that has few trees and a cold climate with a frozen subsoil? The correct answer is tundra. Question number 11. 
which English naturalist is best known for the theory of biological evolution by natural selection and for his work on the or origin of species? Uh, Ali. Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. In 2017, PETA was given a Ramon Magsaysay Award for its bold collective contributions in shaping the theater arts as a force for social change. What does PETA stand for? Jelmer. Philippine Education Theater Association. Can you repeat that? Philippine Educational Theater Association. All right, Jelmer, we cannot accept that because we heard your first answer, which is incorrect. So, anybody can steal. Ice. Philippine Educational Theater Association. Philippine Educational Theater Association is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. So, kumusta na ang mga contestants natin after that second round? Well, we have Justin leading at 100 points, followed by Ali with 70 points, Ice with 50, and Chelmer with a lot of catching up to do. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check after the second round. Justin at 100 points, Ali with 70, Ice with 50, and Jelmer with negative 20. Yun lamig. <laughs> Pero meron ba tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round? So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Siyempre, dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin. First question for this round will come from Prof. Glessy. Hello. What Ilonggo term is used in reference to the firefly or the alitap-tap in Tagalog? Letter A, Aninipot. Letter B, Annapolis. Letter C, Aniana. Letter D, Anakin. And letter E, Anaphora. The correct answer is letter A, Aninipot. Thank you, Prof. Barnard. Okay, my question for you is this. Who among the following developed the natural moral law theory in medieval philosophy? A. Aristotle. B. Thomas Aquinas, C. Augustine, D. Boethius, or E. Immanuel Kant? Ice. A. Po Aristotle. A. Aristotle. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. Justin. E. Immanuel Kant. E. is also wrong. Kelmer. Letter D. D. With you? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's also wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Lalong lumamig. <laughs> the correct answer is Thomas Aquinas. Letter B. Prof. Marila, next question. Ready? Which of the following is a renewable source of energy? A. Coal. B. Natural gas. C. Solar power, D. Justin. Uh, C. Solar power. That is correct. K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Glessy, next question. What do you call this law which mandates the development of a vibrant Philippine creative industries by protecting and strengthening the rights and capacities of creative firms, artists, artisans, creators, creative workers, indigenous cultural communities, and other creative industry providers. Letter A, Philippine Cultural Communities Act. <clears throat> Letter B, the Philippine Railways Industry Act. 
Letter C, Philippine Transportation Tax Law. Letter D, the Philippine Creative Industries Development Act. And letter E, the Philippine Artists Law. Ali, letter D, Philippine Creative Industries Development Act. The correct answer is letter D, the Philippine Creative Industries Development Act. Okay, check. Rock Bernard. Okay, this one is on human development. Which of the following refers to the gradual and orderly unfolding of the characteristics of individuals as they go through successive stages of growth? Is it A, growth, B, development, C, maturation, D, learning, or E, aging? I'm sorry, but um, you rang the bell after the timer sounded. So the correct answer is development. Prof. Marla. Anatomy. Which of these bones is part of the human skull? A. Femur. B. Humerus. C. Patella. D. Occipital. E. Sternum. Justin. D. Occipital. Occipital is correct. K-check. Thank you. Prof. Glessie, go ahead. Okay. Sayaw naman, sayaw. What tausug dance is referred to as the fingernail dance? Letter A, the pangalay. Letter B, panimalay. Letter C, pag-aalay. Letter D, palay. And letter E, paindak. The correct answer is the dance taught by Ligaya Amil Bangsa. Letter A, pangalay. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Bernard. So, ito naman history of thought. Who is considered the first philosopher of the Western world? A. Pythagoras B. Anaximander C. Heraclitus D. Thales or E. Parmenides Justin E. Parmenides Parmenides, that's wrong. Sorry, Justin. The correct answer is Thales of Miletus. Prof. Marla. The next question is on genetics. Which term refers to the physical appearance of an organism due to its genetic makeup? A. Genotype B. Homozygous C. Phenotype D. Allele E. Heterotroph The correct answer is C. Phenotype Thank you. Now we're off to our last set of questions for mm -hmm. this round. Prof. Glessie, go ahead. Okay. What soft drink is named after the vine Smilax or Nata? Letter A, RC, Cola. Letter B, Sprite. Letter C, Sarsaparilla. Letter D, Lem O Lime. And letter E, Coke. Chelmer B Sprite <laughs> Wrong answer Sorry <laughs> Ali uh, Letter D Lemo line Wrong answer Sorry Justin C Sarsa Parilla The correct answer is C Sarsa Parilla <laughs> Swear <to him. laughs> Thank you Okay, check. Okay. Alright. Prof. Bernard. Okay. My last question. Masasagot niyo na to. Sure. Tapos <laughs> hindi pala. Okay. So, here's the question. Who uttered the famous line that an unexamined life is not worth living? A. Homer. B. Democritus. C. 
Socrates, D. Plato, or E. Aristotle? Chelmer. Last question, A. <laughs> A. Homer. Sorry, Chelmer. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chance to steal. Ice. Ano po? D. Plato. Plato is wrong. Justin? C. Socrates. It's Kate Check. Kate Check. Yeah. But I have to say, yung Plato kasi, this is found in Plato's dialogue. Mm. But uh, Plato attributed the line to Socrates. Okay. Thank Very you. Good. Okay, last question for this round. Prof. Marla. Which astronomer was the first to observe the moons of Jupiter? A. Nicolaus Copernicus. B. Johannes Kepler. C. Galileo Galilei, D. Edwin Hubble, E. Isaac Newton. Ali. C. Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei is correct. K check. And that's it for our K check ultimate pagalingan round. Congratulations, of course, to Justin, our K check daily winner, with a final score of 190 points. We'll see Justin again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Of course, thank you also to Ali, to Jelmer, to Congrats. Ice for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Bernard, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Once again, <laughs> thank you so much. Once again, I am Jules Guillaume. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. K -check.